Yo what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Sidians retiring. Not such a fun video to make but I wanted to talk about it honor these guys career as they've been such great human beings and even better hockey players uh, throughout their career and it's obviously sad for the NHL and for the Canucks organization but it's time for them to focus more on their families and life after hockey and they wrote a letter to the Canuck fans from Henrik and Daniel and I'm going to read that here for you guys right now. Dear Canucks fans, earlier this year we wrote a letter to the city and to everyone who has supported us for the past 18 years. Many people were asking what the future holds. We said we'd take it one year at a time. We said when the time was right, we'd talk with our families and sit down with management and discuss it. We started the year with the mindset that a decision will be made in the postseason, but it became clear after discussions with our families throughout the year that this will be our last season. This feels right for all of us. Being part of the Canucks family for 18 seasons has been the best period of our lives, but it's time to focus on our families and life after hockey. It's time to help with homework every night, it's time to be at every birthday party and stand in the cold at every hockey rink, soccer game, and riding lesson on weekends. It's time to be home for dinner every night. We're saying it now because we want to share these final three games with you. We also want to share these games with our families, friends, teammates, coaches, trainers, staff, and everyone in the Canucks who have supported us. You've all been with us every step of the way and we want to thank you. It's time to let the next generation of young players lead the Canucks. Travis is building a strong culture and emphasizes a style of play we know will be successful. This team is in great hands with people who care about its success and it's headed in the right direction. We know there is a bright future for the Canucks. As we said before, Vancouver has become home. This is our family's home. We plan to be a part of this community long after we retire. Vancouver has given so much to us and we've tried to give everything back in return and that will never change. In the meantime, we still have some games to play and we still have some work to do, Henrik and Daniel. So a very nice letter to the fans and to the NHL from the Sedin Twins. And these guys have just had unbelievable careers it really does suck that they're not going to get that stanley cup they came so close in 2011 but still great players but obviously 37 years old they want to focus more on their family and for vancouver canuck fans this obviously does suck as it's kind of the end of an era for the vancouver canucks and they're kind of passing the torch now to the younger players and it's going to be a new generation a fresh start for the vancouver canucks next season and they're in pretty good hands, you know, Bo Horvat, Peterson, Brock Bester. Henrik Sedin had three goals and 45 assists this year for 48 points in 79 games played for his career in 1,327 games played, which will be 1,330. By the end of the season, 240 goals, 828 assists for 1,608 points. And Daniel Sedin still having a good year, but obviously it's time for these guys to just hang them up as... It sucks how people hate on these guys and call them soft and stuff like that, but these guys are great players and nothing can take that away from them. Even better human beings, they've been great ambassadors for the NHL. And Daniel Sedin this season, in 78 games played, 21 goals and 31 assists for 52 points. And in his career, he has 1,303 games played, 391 goals and 647 assists for 1,308 points. Both these guys are going to be Hall of Famers. They're going to go in together. These guys' careers obviously tied together, drafted together, and it's been a great story for the NHL. These guys have just been great. Uh, it does suck that they're going to go, but yeah, as soon as they're eligible, they're going to be going into the Hall of Fame without a doubt. Both players over 1,000 career games played and 1,000 career points. And it's going to be nice to see down the stretch here in these, past, in these last three games how the Vancouver Canucks honor them. Hopefully they can put up some points, get some goals, and the Vancouver Canucks can win some games as that would be nice as the Sidians could go out on a winning note and playing well as obviously still having a good year. 40 points for Henrik and 50 for Daniel. Henrik's looking more of a guy that is towards the end of his career i feel like they could have played more years but they want to just call it quits and just be with their family which you can't take anything away from them uh, 37 years old it's a good age to go out and these guys have left nothing behind obviously it sucks not to get a stanley cup but these guys have had amazing careers and they will most definitely be hall of famers so for me i just want to thank henrik and daniel they gave everything to the nhl they've been so exciting to watch for their whole career so yeah let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below how you feel and yeah obviously pretty sad day for the nhl but uh now the Canucks organization, a fresh start and a new generation to, and they're in good hands, you know, Brock Besser, Peterson, Bo Horvat, and whoever they draft this season. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more hockey videos. We do this every single day. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.